see the shifting game plan That's already. Right over the top, Timmy. Yes, but you see the shifting game plan. Now Fulton now is looking to fight on the front foot now. He's looking to attack. Inching forward against the monster. See if he can work behind that jab. In a way, has good countering ability as well. Goes to the body again with the jab. That has been a point of emphasis early on, and then the right hand up top. Partially blocked, Tess. Partially blocked. One, two from Fulton. That up vertical jab again. Back to the body with it. Fulton is there in range, but he's not pulling the trigger. Well, it's that middle ground that was the concern. And if you're going to stay there, you got to throw. That up jab has had such success for in a way. Now an opportunity as Fulton was able to get to the inside and back to range. That's some good offense range. right there from Fulton. Finally letting his hands go, having a little success. Fulton's doing a little bit better moving forward. He just got to let his hands go. He's in range, but he's just sitting there, sitting still. I think he's afraid for what's come, come back. The speed is too blazing fast. Tough to replicate with a sparring partner, what Inouye and his unique physical gifts offer when you're opposite him. Rare combination. Elite speed, technique. And nice level changing jab right there in exchange. A jab for a right hand and a left hook for anyway. Not a whole lot of damage done, but that right hand right there to the body and the roll under is textbook from anyway. Jingo anyway, his father. Working the corner for Naoya. Rahid Rahim. Trainer of Stephen Fulton, two Philly guys, and take great pride in being from Philadelphia, aka the bottom, West Philly. Stephen Fulton is detailed, having to survive a rough childhood, and how it has defined him in so many ways. You see the total body punches in a way with an 11 to 2 advantage. He has been increasing his work rate as the fight has moved around in the early stages as he comes with. Two right hands to open up this fourth round. He had 11 total punches in the first round, landed 15 in the second, 18 in the third. But he threw 56 punches in that last round compared to 28 in the first. So he's picking up the productivity as well. See, I like that inside work from Fulton in the inside, banging on the body of Inouye, getting a little physical on the inside. Fulton has a lot of confidence in his ability as an infighter. Good right hand. Right hand from Fulton. Catching in away, in away. Out. Came straight back. back. To the body with that jab. That has been available since the opening bell. Double jab by Fulton. Not sure about that all the way out, all the way in stuff. Fulton is standing mid range, not doing anything. Anyways, beating him to the punch. 
He's there. In the way. He's there, but he won't pull the trigger test. Inouye has that kind of power where he can punch through the defense as well. You've seen that a few times. Not showing the levels with that jab again. Consistently going to the body with that jab is in a way. Fulton's getting outboxed. He's getting outboxed, and he's supposed to be the superior boxer. Well, we get so enamored with the power of Inouye and the results. He is a supremely intelligent boxer as well. Good combination from Inouye. More blood coming from the nose of Scooter Fulton. It's not working for him at that distance. Fulton's going to have to make some changes. Going to have to make some adjustments. He's going to have to take the fight on the inside. And that comes with a certain risk to be more offensive-minded against the monster. As he does for a moment, does Fulton. Then backs out with his hands up. In a way, we're going to cut him off as we come to the end of round number four. In a fight, Mark Kriegel, that is seemingly very easy to score early on. I got it four rounds to nothing for in a way. You talk about someone being sharp. This guy's a razor. I've never seen Fulton this tentative, and I thought he almost had that round uh, that in a way just came on in the, in the second half. But again, I've never seen him so tentative. And we talked going into this about Fulton's jab. What I'm seeing is an extraordinary jab from Inouye, starting with a shot to the body and then going upstairs. He's dominating this fight with that one punch. Everything comes off that. Four rounds to none, says Mark Regal. Inouye, as for the jab, he has thrown 105 jabs already, has Inouye. Fulton, according to Compubax, has thrown 112 total punches. In a way, connect advantage through four. 55 to 18. What's the change that needs to take place for Fulton, Timmy? Kind of changes rhythm. He's standing directly in front. Use your legs. He can draw in it in a way. I mean, he tried to come forward, but he's not letting his hands go. He's afraid for what's going to come back. So now use your legs. Try something different. Get on your bike. Lure in, in a way, because now you're in range just to get hit with those power shots. Now here comes the combination punching of, in a way, behind that jab that we've seen early on in round five. And change his rhythm up. I mean, when you have a fighter like in a way just landing shots like that, you have to change your rhythm up. You have to. Throw feints. Subtle movement left and right. Oh, good combination from Fulton. And that was off the subtle movement to his right. That's what he has to do. And a right hand from Inouye as he returns fire. Another right hand from Inouye backs up Fulton. Heavy. Yes. Heavy. He's extremely and good heavy. right hand. Good right hand from Fulton right there. Catching Inouye. See, Inouye is getting a little bit overconfident, Tess. And he'll leave himself available sometimes. He'll leave himself open. Fulton taking advantage of those moments. You can hear the thud in Inouye's punches. Even the right hands that could be glancing or catch a bit of the glove of Fulton, they still will back him up. Comes a point where the bigger man has to act that way. And if you're Stephen Fulton, you've talked about that dog in you. You've talked about the level of toughness that you can display. Have to show it in the middle rounds. Right hand from Inouye. A lot of those shots are being deflected by the guards of Fulton. It's a better round for Fulton. I don't know if he's gonna if he's gonna win this round, but I know this is a better round for Fulton. He's well, starting he has to, to commit to the movie. offense. Has to commit to it. And even what is quote unquote a better round from Fulton, he's being outworked 
by Inouye in both punches thrown and punches landed. As Inouye gets him up against the ropes here in the closing moments, throws another combination. And to five. Round six, unified champion Stephen Fulton in an early hold against the monster. Now, in a way, who vacated his four belts, his undisputed status at Bantamweight to come up to 122 pounds and say, I want the best guy in the division right away. And early on, being so relaxed, but so fast and striking and consistent and productive with the jab in his offensive arsenal to bank an early lead. Anyway, looking for that counter right hand over the jab of Fulton. Just pulled the trigger on it moments ago. But See if it's available again. Test the interest. The most interesting thing to me is, is that Fulton is not using any of his footwork. He's not moving using any of his lateral movement at all. And you want to know why? Because in a way has stopped that. He's punching where he's going. So anytime you see Fulton get on his bike and try to move left or right, Inouye is quick to cut him off and says, uh-uh, I want you directly in front of me. I don't want you moving anywhere. That time he comes in with the left hook. That speed to close, whether it's straight ahead or lateral, just another part of what makes him so dangerous as Fulton comes forward that time, falls short of landing, and then wraps up. Halfway through round number six. Amazing in a sold out arena in Tokyo. The crowd, so respectful, polite, restrained, subdued that you can actually hear in the midst of the fight the instructions coming from the corner of Fulton. So unbelievable how, in a way, no matter what position he's in, he's able to generate the punching power and torque on his shots. Torque. That's a perfect description of what makes his punching power special. He just ran with a combination. He did. My goodness. Four-punch combination as he's taking steps forward. It's that jab. That jab. It's Mark been the key. It. It's been the key. It has been the key. Ooh. That right hand hurt, Fulton. Buzzed him for a split second. But you know he's in tremendous shape, so he recovered quickly, getting back on his jab, trying to establish his own offense, but getting himself out of position. Short left hand chopped down here at the end of round number six. Fulton trying to exchange on the inside, and in a way getting the better of it again. And the body work has been sensational as well. Tim Bradley. Yeah, the body work. 18 body punches. My goodness, the body work. Yes, we knew that was going to be part of his arsenal tonight and a part of the game plan, particularly with that stab jab, stabbing down to the guts, weakens your opponents, take his legs, you know, and also allow you to set up things up top, particularly the right hand, sometime and occasionally the left hook. Boom, beautiful right hand downstairs. Like I told you guys, he usually used the right hand first to put himself in that position to use that left hook down to the body. Sometimes you can throw the uppercut or the hook up top. Beautiful offense book by Noya Inouye. Something's got to change oh. <laughs> for it, Scooter. It, Stephen it, Fulton's got to find an answer. And you know, when it comes to power, this is a world champion that only has eight knockouts, the fifth lowest knockout percentage among current world champions. Tess, this is the baddest man at 122 pounds. And in a way, is making this look easy. He is. The great ones, that's what they do. They make it look easy. Good right hand. Has to have more of it. 
But that's the start, working behind that jab and the willingness to throw the right hand. Interesting enough, you, you have, in a way, he keeps his head on that side. I'm, I'm seeing him keep his head on that right side, right in, the, right in the line of fire for that right hand of folks. Listen, we've seen Inouye get hit in his career. We've also seen him at his best when he does. Yes. Short check hook that time. That check hook that check time. Check hook that time as Fulton crossed the threshold. The jab for Inouye. There's Fulton Good on shot. the inside coming, wrapping around the guard with that right hand. And anyway, comes right back at him. Returns fire immediately. A lot of those shots deflected. Good defense from Fulton. I've been amazed with the way he's been blocking a lot of the shots, deflecting a lot of the punches from Inouye. Some stuff was getting in, no doubt. But I'm amazed how well he's taking these shots from Inouye. That speed and power is unreal. Good right hand over the top. From Counter him. right hand from Fulton. Back to the body from Inouye. <laughs> Folks said that was low. Inouye said, uh -huh, get out of here. You see how comfortable Inouye is right now as he's trying to cut off the ring and close the gap. Overhand right. That's the one thing about anyway, he, he never stops hunting for that knockout. Never. He's always looking for it. Four punch combination, back to the jab up top. Gee, these are great moments right here that Fulton is allowing Inouye to recharge. See, he just threw an onslaught of punches and he's allowing Inouye to recharge. He needs to work his offense immediately after Inouye gets done. Right hand, the left hook. The jab. And that jab, a snap back the head of Inouye. Much better round for Stephen Fulton. This is what we were just referencing, Timmy. Among current world champions, the low knockout percentage. Yeah, Sonny Edwards, one of my favorites or to be great in this sport. You know, Fulton's getting beat tonight right now. I know the fight's not over. You know, I, I don't think he has the punching power to hurt anyway, but this is boxing, you never know. You know, but he's so technically sound and so fundamentally sound, well-schooled fighter in any way right now is making him look average. <laughs> Seventh round was Stephen Fulton's best round in terms of a high number of total connects. First time he hit double digits tonight in Japan. 13 of 38 in that last round. A stab jab down to the body. Foden has no answer for it. And the reason why Inouye can get there quick with that jab is is Foden has a wide stance. His base is so wide, it's really hard to get in and out. Oh, right hand hurts him. Oh, a huge right hand from the monster. And then he chases him down. Foden is late. Here comes Inouye. That destructive, decisive power does it again. The a four division world champion stamping in Tokyo. We sometimes overuse the word greatness in boxing. Not here, not now. That is greatness. Greatness.
Naoya, in a way, is doing things and doing them to great fighters. His run from 108 pounds to 115 to 118, and now 